Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. I am Shavi Gupta, your online mentor. In today's video, I will talk about what are the different books that I am reading currently. And the number is more than 5. So I will talk about what are the different books, what are they about, whether I recommend them to you or not for reading and also why is it that I am reading more than 5 books. So let's get started. So out of all the different books that I am reading, I am reading sort of a mix of business books which could be about business stories which could be about building businesses etc and also some casual reads so there are like multiple different types of books that i'm reading so let's get started with the first book that i'm reading it is zero to one by peter Thiel. what this book talks about is that how do you really build a startup how do you get that first happy customer how do you build from nothing to having a business of sorts and then doesn't really talk about scaling very much but yes that is what it talks about how to establish a startup how to establish a business it's a good read till now i have read a bit of it but it is a good and promising read so yes if you are someone interested in business interested in starting something of your own do read the book the other book that i'm reading in business is hbr essentials it is it is sort of a book which has a lot of case studies, which has real life examples from businesses, has a lot of theories about business and so on. I have not read a lot of it, mainly because it is a very, very heavy read. It is difficult for me to read more than two to three pages at a time because it has a lot of business terms. You have to make notes and I do that in the book and so on. So yes, it is a great book. And if you are someone interested academically in business if you are someone who reads a lot of case studies or research papers i'm sure that this book is for you so these are the two business related books that i'm reading in physical copy the other books that i'm reading is one of them is one dozen stories so i really wanted to pick up something from the indian scenario of books generally we read books by foreign authors so this is a book this is an interesting book by satyajit ray and it talks about you know a lot of small short Indian stories very very raw book you will get like all sorts of context of Indian scenario and so on this is enough book I have read almost 50% of the book I like it um, not really something I would recommend to everyone but if you are someone interested in sort of an Indian scenario type of a book definitely try it out very short book very short stories as the name says so yeah good read the other book that i'm reading um, by indian author is mrs funny bones by twinkle Khanna. now this is a very very casual read this talks about life of a woman generally and very casual if you want to just read around just don't want to spend a lot of brain energy in understanding something frankly so these are the two books which I read casually when I want to just read something light-hearted. Generally recommend both of them like on an average, not must reads but can read. So these were the four books that I have physical copies of. Apart from this, I also have a Kindle and I prefer reading a lot of books on Kindle as well so that whenever I'm traveling, then also I can take it with me, have a small Kindle and read multiple books on it. There are four books that I'm reading on my Kindle right now. The first one is No Filter. This is the book that I'm reading primarily right now. Like every single day, I 90% of the times go back to this book. This book is about the story of how Instagram came to be. How was it started? How was it then acquired by Facebook? And what all changed in the company and so on. So very interesting read. If you're someone who is into business stories, then this is sort of a great book for you. And if you are someone who has read Shoe Dog, which is another book that I recommend, which is the story of Nike, I would really recommend you to read this book. The other book that I am reading on Kindle is Making of a Manager by Julie Zhu, who is also one of the co-founders of the startup where I am working at. It is a great book for new managers. It is a very, very good book for anyone who has new reportees. What are the tactical things that you should keep in mind when you are doing a managerial role and so on. So good book related to my job right now, uh, really good read. The other book that I'm reading sort of for a product management role is Swipe to Unlock. Swipe to Unlock is sort of a tech book for PMs. So PMs who really do not know a lot of technology, 
they have to know it if they are working in a tech company so this is a book for them because i never worked as a software engineer ever i do not have a lot of context in technology and hence reading that book which sort of helps me in my career the fourth book that i am reading that i just started a while back is becoming by michelle obama it is a great book i started it a while back very promising start i'm sure it will get more and more interesting as she talks about her life her husband's life and so on and it has great reviews so anyone looking to read that i'm pretty sure you can pick it up so these are the eight different books that i am reading i would in general definitely recommend no filter would recommend making of a manager and becoming the other books are depending on your interests on your field etc you can pick up and you can read so now let me talk about why is it that i am reading eight books at a time right so what used to happen earlier is that earlier i was a person who would read one book at a time finish that book and then move on to the other book right what happened because of that is if sometimes i'm not really in the mood of reading that one book then i would just stop reading altogether and that was not right i still wanted to read it was just that i was not in the mood to read that one particular book Now suppose you are reading Swipe to Unlock, right? It is a good book, but it is a technical book. It is mo mostly about my career and so on. Now, if sometimes I'm not in the mood of thinking about work or reading something around that, I don't know what to read. I will pause reading, and that is not something that you should do. I call it the reader's block. And anyone of you who has been reading books or who has a habit of reading books, I'm sure you have faced it too. So there were times when I would not read for three, three weeks, four, four weeks, and I did not like that. So I thought I'll just start reading some other book, which is of a different genre, different type, different mood. So even if I'm not really in the mood of reading that first book, I have something else to read, and I can continue to read. So that is where it started. Now I'm at reading eight books simultaneously. I generally, I'm pretty sure I'll finish No Filter and then pick up a new book if I'm about to. But I think this is a good enough habit. So in case you are thinking about building a reading habit or improving your reading habit, I think this is a good strategy. If you ever find yourself not reading because you are not in the mood of that particular book, pick up a new book. Feel free to pick up a new book. Don't feel like you know you have to finish that one book before reading something else. So that was mostly it on why you should read multiple books at a time. If you want to know more recommendations on the books that you can read, join me on Goodreads. The Goodreads profile link is in description below. You can join me there. I post continuously about the books that I'm reading. I also review the books that I'm reading, so you can get good recommendations in case you want. So that was it from me, guys, on the different types of books that I'm reading and why you should read so many books together. So that was it, guys, on the different books that I'm reading. I hope you like the video. Do let me know in comments any feedback that you have on the video, and also let me know which video you would want me to make next. With that, I'll see you again soon. Take care, everyone. Bye bye.